MTD CNC via Video Media. I've just sat through what can only be described as an extremely engaging presentation from Arthur Turner at Rainford Precision. I'm here at the AMRC and Arthur has been talking about the successes in micro-machining. One of the points he alluded to was the four factors involved. One of those factors is the machine tool. We've now relocated to the shop floor where we're actually looking at a Kern three-axis machining centre in action. So Matt, what's the Kern machine actually doing? It's uh, running right now. It's running a spindle warm-up. As we speak at the moment, it's doing a warm-up. So what's it, what's it spinning at? It's spinning at 25,000 revs at the moment. As we speak, that's running at 20... So there's no noise whatsoever from that machine? No noise whatsoever now. It's quite silent. <laughs> OK, and why do you need to run the warm-up cycle? It warms the spindle up and it'll change the actual tool height and radius by a few microns at a time. So we definitely need to do it when we're cutting two microns. And that is what we're trying to do here. So just tell me about what we're actually doing. You've got a part, I believe. What's yeah, the yeah. machine actually producing to what tolerance? Right, well, the machine's actually producing this part here. So it's actually doing two micron steps all the way down it. And then through the center, it's doing a five micron step. And that just proves to us that it's actually doing two micron steps across it, because you should get a three micron like, depth of cut on one of them, one micron on another, and then it'll run straight out. So then you won't end up with a tool cut apart path. And that is the f that is the finished part with that the steps the on it. Part with the steps on it, yes. Arthur, I've been very impressed with the component that you've been machining today and actually the whole forum. I mean, your presentation was fantastic, so congratulations on that. But just for the uh, benefit of our viewers, just talk us through the four factors of micro-machining, starting with the management. That management is the controlling influences. Do the management team actually know how they're going to achieve those goals and are they giving the operator the facilities to achieve those goals? and is the designer being realistic in the goals that he's setting in the first place. And then number two would be the environment. Without doubt. Um, not having sunlight on a machine, having doors um, open by the machine, have you got vibrations in your machine shop that will uh, affect what the machine is trying to achieve. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to have a goal of a micron or a couple of micron, and they all count up to influencing what you can achieve. And then the third one being the process which in involves cutting tools etc. A whole raft of things starting with your CAD CAM system, is that capable of achieving your goal? Um, you move on from CAD CAM, you've got to be able to measure the part, you know, is your CMM really up to measuring the part that you want to uh, produce? Um, you've got your cutting tools, how are your cutting tools being held? Is it heat shrink, is it collar chucks, zero fit chucks? Have you got the tools running concentric? Um, and then you've got the fluids that you use. Is it air blow, is it uh, water emulsion? If it's flood coolants, are you temperature controlling the flood coolants? Because again, that impacts on workpiece stability. And finally, workpiece clamping. Have you got it clamped securely enough to be able to achieve the finesse that you're looking for. And then the fourth and the final would be the machine tool that we've got here. Yeah, um, there's lots of considerations that you've uh, got to think about. One is the stability about, of the machine and Cairn have got a polymer granite bed so it's thermally stable and vibration damping. Quite a number of other companies also use this material but you will find those companies have also got very, very accurate machines. So that's the foundation having a stable machine. In milling, the other main consideration that you need is to have a spindle where you are running concentrically 
within one micron, that is more difficult and that is where companies lose their tolerances by not having the concentricity of the spindle. I'm an engineer, Arthur, and I've been very impressed with what I've seen today. But what I would question now is, what is the market for the micro machining? How many people are doing it? How many people are looking to get into it? We, we've got about 25 machines in the UK at present, and the, the potential is, is growing because more and more end users uh, are looking for components with tighter tolerances, smaller features, and higher surface finish. So over the next five years I can see it growing quite nicely. And what sort of components would they be for or what parts would they be for? What industry? At the moment our customers go from mould tool makers and we've got a number of them in the UK, watch makers, space science, uh, we've even got a few subcontractors who are supplying the general marketplace with these high precision components. But again that is going to grow and grow because of the demands of what the marketplace is looking for. Brilliant, Arthur, it's been a really good day. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Adam, I've really enjoyed today's event at the AMRC. It's been, it's been very educational. But what interest do the AMRC have in micro-machining? We have been working with the aerospace and automotive industries mainly. Now we would like to go into the precision industry. And mainly we would like to work with watch, jewelry and diamond, diamond mold industries. And we would like to improve this, improve the productivity and quality of the machining process in those industries. It's been a well attended event, so I'm sure it's been educational for you guys here at the AMRC uh, today as well. Yes, it has been educational and it has been good to network with other companies. So we had several discussions. Maybe they will come later on to follow up these discussions. Well, we've certainly enjoyed it. We've been here a few times now, and I'd have to say it's probably been one of the most informative. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you, we appreciate your attendance. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com.